Have you ever gazed upon a gemstone and marveled at its beauty, wondering how such a marvel could come into existence? The answer lies deep beneath your feet in the silent, unyielding depths of our planet. This is where Mother Nature painstakingly crafts her jewels, the gemstones. The formation of gemstones is a fascinating tale of transformation, a testament to the amazing alchemy of heat, pressure, space and time. These elements work in harmony under the Earth's crust or even deeper in the mantle to form these natural wonders. Picture this, a world beneath our world, about 3 to 25 miles below the surface for most gems, and even further for the likes of diamonds and peridots, which are formed roughly 125 and 55 miles beneath our feet, respectively. Here, minerals bond together to create crystal structures, the foundation of all gemstones. Each gemstone is unique, a reflection of the specific conditions under which it was formed. The ingredients, the amount of pressure and heat, the space available and the time taken, all contribute to the creation of the diverse array of gemstones we have today. But how do the three different types of rocks on Earth come into play? Each plays a part in creating specific gemstones. Igneous rock formed when magma cools and crystallizes, or when lava flows on the surface, gives us garnet, diamond, spinel, tanzanite, tourmalin, topaz and quartz, including the much-loved amethyst. Sedimentary rock, a product of erosion over time, compressed into gems, offers us opal and zircon. Metamorphic rock, altered by extreme heat or pressure underground, presents us with beryl, which includes emerald, morganite and aquamarine, spinel, ruby, sapphire and zircon. So the next time you find yourself captivated by the allure of a gemstone, remember the journey it has undertaken, the immense forces it has withstood and the eons it has waited to be discovered. As we can see, the creation of gemstones is a story of transformation, a testament to the power of time and the relentless forces of nature. Our planet is a diverse playground of rocks, and each type has its own story to tell and its own gems to give. First, let's delve into the fiery depths of the Earth, where igneous rocks are born. These rocks are the result of magma cooling and crystallizing, whether it's beneath the Earth's surface or gushing out as lava on the surface. Such extreme conditions give birth to a fascinating array of gemstones. Garnet, diamond, spinel, tanzanite, tourmaline, topaz and quartz, including the royal amethyst, all owe their existence to igneous rocks. Just imagine, the beautiful diamond on your ring was once a part of a molten magma deep within the Earth. Moving on to a more placid scenario, picture wind and water eroding rocks over time, carrying fragments far and wide. These fragments, over time, are compressed to form sedimentary rocks, the second type of rock on our list. This process may be slow, but the results are stunning. Gems like opal and zircon are the offspring of sedimentary rocks. These gems, with their unique colours and patterns, are like the Earth's memoirs, encapsulating millions of years of history. Lastly, we have metamorphic rocks, the transformers of the rock world. These rocks undergo a metamorphosis due to extreme heat or pressure underground, altering their form and giving rise to new gemstones. Beryl, which includes the coveted emerald, morganite and aquamarine spinel, ruby, sapphire and zircon, are all birthed from metamorphic rocks. The dazzling emerald that adorns your necklace, the deep blue sapphire on your tiara, they were all once a part of a humble rock, transformed by the Earth's relentless forces. Each rock type, with its unique formation process, creates a distinct family of gemstones. It's fascinating how the same Earth, the same elements under different conditions, can produce such a diverse array of gemstones. From the fiery depths of igneous rocks, to the patient layering of sedimentary rocks, to the transformative power of metamorphic rocks, each contributes its own gemstone offspring to the Earth's treasure trove. So the next time you look at a gemstone, remember the journey it has taken. It was once a part of a simple rock, nestled deep within the Earth. Over time, through heat, pressure and the Earth's transformative powers, it metamorphosed into the stunning gemstone you see. Each gemstone carries with it a tale of geological transformation, a tale of patience, resilience and beauty. So just as a caterpillar metamorphoses into a butterfly, various rocks under the right conditions metamorphose into the dazzling gemstones we cherish.
Now that we know how gemstones form, let's embark on a journey around the world to discover where these precious stones are found. Our first stop is Africa, a continent rich in gemstone deposits. The heart of Tanzania is home to Tanzanite, a blue-violet gem found nowhere else in the world. Meanwhile, Zambia's soil is renowned for its deep green emeralds and the mines of South Africa yield a treasure trove of diamonds. Moving to Asia, we find Myanmar, the primary source of fine rubies known for their deep pigeon blood color. Sri Lanka, the island of gems, boasts a multitude of gems including sapphire, garnet and topaz. Afghanistan, despite its arid conditions, hides lapis lazuli deep within its mountains. In the Americas, the mines of Colombia are famous for their lush green emeralds, while Montana in the United States is the only source of the stunning blue gemstone Yogo Sapphire. Brazil, with its diverse geological landscape, offers a wide array of gems including amethyst, tourmaline and the enchanting aquamarine. Over in Australia we find the world's largest deposits of opal, a gem that dances with a play of colour. The island of Tasmania harbours the rare pinkish-orange Padparadsha sapphire. Lastly, we journey to Europe, where Russia's Ural Mountains offer a unique gem, the Dementoid Garnet, prized for its brilliant green hue. The soils of Spain, on the other hand, yield the finest specimens of blue fluorite. Each geographic location, with its unique geological conditions, contributes to the rich tapestry of gemstones we have today. Some gemstones are so intrinsically linked to their place of origin that they carry the name of their homeland, like Russian Alexandrite or Arizona Peridot. So, the next time you hold a gemstone, remember that it not only carries the story of its formation, but also the tale of its geographical journey. Now, let's delve into an intriguing connection. The relationship between gemstones and metals. Minerals, the fundamental building blocks of our planet, are the ingredients in rocks, forming both precious metals and gemstones. These solid substances, formed naturally within the Earth, possess characteristic chemical and physical properties, often developing into regular crystal structures. Now, let's consider the relationship between gemstones and specific metal ore deposits. Diamonds, rubies and sapphires, gems we all hold dear, originate from igneous sources. Imagine a diamondiferous kimberlite erupting through a gold or silver ore-bearing formation, or an intrusive dike producing rubies or sapphires penetrating into a similar structure. These are just some of the ways that gemstones and metals can be linked in their formation. The beautiful turquoise, along with ornamental stones such as malachite and azurite, are directly dependent on large concentrations of copper. Turquoise, in particular, is a hydrated phosphate of copper and aluminum. Therefore, the existence of these gemstones is directly associated with the presence of certain metal ore deposits or their contaminants. The connection between gemstones and metals goes even deeper when we consider their structure. Metals like crystals have an ordered crystalline structure. Above their melting point, metals are liquids, with their atoms randomly arranged and relatively free to move. However, when cooled below their melting point, metals rearrange to form ordered crystalline structures, similar to the way gemstones form. This fascinating parallel between gemstones and metals might seem surprising at first. After all, Gemstones are known for their vibrant colours and brilliant sparkles, while metals are usually thought of as duller and more utilitarian. But when you look closer, you'll see that both are formed from the same basic building blocks, and both share a similar structural arrangement. But why is this connection important? Understanding the relationship between gemstones and metals provides valuable insights into the geological processes that create these natural wonders. It helps scientists predict where new deposits might be found, and it can also help gemologists and jewelers understand the properties and value of the gems and metals they work with. So the next time you admire a diamond ring or a gold necklace, remember that these precious items share a common origin deep within the Earth. They are the result of complex geological processes that have taken place over millions of years, transforming simple minerals into the stunning gemstones and valuable metals we treasure today. From this, we can see that gemstones and metals, though seemingly disparate, share a common origin and structure, further adding to the fascinating story of these natural wonders. 
As we close this chapter on the fascinating world of gemstones, let's revisit the key points of our journey. Our adventure started deep within the Earth's crust and mantle, where the majority of gemstones are born. Through extreme heat, pressure and the passage of time, minerals bond together to form intricate crystal structures. These conditions vary greatly, giving birth to different gemstones, each with their own unique properties. We learned that the Earth's three primary rock types, igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic, each play a role in gemstone creation. Igneous rock, formed from cooled magma or lava, gives us gems such as garnet, diamond and quartz. Sedimentary rock, created from eroded fragments compressed over time, produces opal and zircon. Metamorphic rock, altered by extreme heat or pressure, is responsible for gems like emerald, ruby and sapphire. Our journey then took us across the globe, exploring the geographical distribution of these precious stones. Some gemstones we found are mined on every continent, while others are exclusive to specific regions of the world. Finally, we discovered the intriguing relationship between gemstones and metals. Both are subsets of minerals, formed naturally within the Earth. Some gemstones, like diamonds and rubies, come from igneous sources that could potentially intersect with metal or bearing formations. Others, like turquoise and malachite, are dependent on large concentrations of specific metals, such as copper. Remember, every gemstone carries within it a tale of transformation and journey, a testament to the marvels of nature. If you enjoyed this journey into the world of gemstones, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more enlightening content. Always remember, knowledge is power.